The next special triangle that we need to talk about is the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Across the 30 is 1. Across the 60 is 1 times root 3, or the square root of 3. Across the 90 is 2. So let's say if we wish to evaluate sine 30. Opposite to 30 is 1. The hypotenuse is going to be 2. So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, so it's 1 over 2. Now, if we wish to find cosecant of 30, it's the reciprocal of sine. So if sine is 1 half, cosecant is 2 over 1, or simply 2. Now, what about cosine of 30? Cosine of 30 is equal to the adjacent side with respect to 30. That's the square root of 3 divided by the hypotenuse of 2. Now, if we wish to find secant of 30, we need to find 1 over cosine, which is 1 over root 3 over 2, and that becomes 2 over root 3. But we do have to rationalize it. So secant 30 is equal to 2 square root 3 over 3. Now, if you want to find tangent of 30, that's going to be equal to opposite over adjacent. So it's 1 over square root 3. When rationalized, it's going to be root 3 divided by 3. Cotangent of 30, we need to flip this fraction. So cotangent of 30 is simply square root 3. Now let's find the values that are associated with the 60 degree angle. Let's start with sine of 60. Go ahead and find these. Find sine 60, cosecant 60, cosine 30, I mean cosine 60, secant of 60, and tan and cotan of 60. So with respect to 60, opposite to it is going to be the square root of 3 divided by the hypotenuse, which is 2. And cosecant 60, which is 1 over root 3 over 2, we know it's going to become 2 square root 3 over 3. Cosine of 60, we need to use the adjacent side, which is 1 divided by the hypotenuse of 2 which means secant is 2 over 1. Now, to find tangent of 60, it's going to be opposite. But that's not opposite. Opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be square root of 3 over 1, or just square root 3. Cotangent of 60 is going to be the adjacent side divided by the opposite side, which is 1 over square root 3, and that becomes square root 3 over 3. So after a while, you see some familiar answers. So you won't need to memorize the unicircle anymore. You can use these special right triangles to evaluate common angles like 30, 45, and 60.